Hi everyone, this is your reading for Gemini, November 2020. Um, I know I have a lot of things now on my table, I feel like it's just taking up everything, so I am going to um, take some things off at some point. I know it's really busy and there's a lot going on in my background. I, it's just all built up to be honest. Um, but we are going to be looking into your reading, so don't worry, we will get into that and see what's coming through. Alright, so Gemini, I'm going to use a large tarot card for your overview for November and also going to use tarot to do a 12 card spread. So I really hope it helps you and gives you tons of clarity, information and knowledge. And this could really sway in any direction, so I think that that's quite exciting. Um, if you'd like to win a free reading with me, do check out the description box below since I do a giveaway every single month. If you would like to purchase a private paid reading, information will be in the description box below as well. They're done within 24 to 48 hours and the last thing I want to mention is that my intention bracelets are on Etsy. So here they are, um, got a bunch of them on here. I'm actually wearing a lot of the loved ones and the singles ones but also there is so many other ones on there. There's Evil Eye Protection, Health and Happiness, Confidence, Career Bracelets. There's also teas, crystals, necklaces, anklets and so many other items. The review section is on there if you want to see how other people have seen results with these items. And yes, do take care indeed, okay, because everything is on there and uh, I think it's this card. Okay, so the card that is the over, the overall card, should I say, or the overview of November is Justice. So Justice is very interesting because Justice is about resolution. It is about finding a solution. It is about communicating across truth, which I wouldn't be surprised about because you have got the Mercury retrograde for the first three days, which really just triggers this energy of wanting to get to the bottom of things. And also it is about balance and also karma, right? Things, if someone's done you, oh my God, I can't even speak. If someone has done you wrong, this is about you wanting truth. This is about you wanting things to come to the surface. You're done with any BS or any way in which someone has treated you. You're just like, well, I hope you get justice and justice gets served. And in many ways, I feel like there is this power to this justice card where many of you might just be like, you know what? I'm out. Peace. See you later. Karma is is yours and what more am I going to do about this, you know? So if you feel powerless, I would say give the power to the universe. Let the universe do its thing, okay? Let let it do its thing for you. Justice here is about, again, this could be resolving also court issues, resolving issues with certain people that you are involved with. This is also very much so about finding balance in your routine as well on a day-to-day -day basis. So you're, you're resolving something here. There's a, there's a problem, okay? So usually when we want to resolve something, there's usually something we're either worried about or there's some form of a problem or a challenge. Whoa, okay. Death card. So of course we have got Scorpio season as well in November. Stay, stay justice, stay. Page of Pentacles. Empress is ruled by Venus. Death card, yeah. Some of you are walking away. There's this new beginning and you're walking away creating this ending with a certain situation. For some of you, this is career and for some of you, this is love related. I also see there could be some of you that are perhaps divorcing and moving forward into this, this new life, which uh, is, is also huge. I see November is very, very big for that. But in general, I see here many of you could be walking away from relationships that have been toxic or maybe you've been with a narcissist or there's something really big that could have happened and or, or you've just really felt that you're not being treated right because the Empress is about love and it is about care and it's about nurture and you may just feel like, wow, this person does not handle me in the way that I need to be handled. This person could be super, super immature. Again, it could be your career situation where you feel like it's just not right for me. The people there are immature. I'm not being given what I necessarily need to be given for my growth. 
So the Fool here triggers a new beginning and the Death card is an ending but it's also a transformation and it's a transformation that really goes in the favour of your personal karma which is to bring you the best for yourself and also to give you that balance that you've really been wanting, needing, craving, uh, desiring and that is for your highest good. I say let karma do its thing and you focus on this new beginning. Nine of Pentacles, there you go quite a strong independent energy breaking away breaking free and appreciating all the beautiful things that you have around you this is gratitude this is you feeling so so good about your personal abundance and again the little things right the little things all of those little things in life as well yeah nine of pentacles very interesting Got here the Seven of Pentacles. Got a lot of green. There's a lot of greenery and there's a lot of nature. In fact, all of the cards except for the Justice card right now are based in nature. So you may be getting out and about, getting some fresh air, going for a walk, and this might just really activate your heart chakra. And it gives you a sense of peace like, okay, the world, the universe, they're with me. I'm not alone in this journey. I don't have to be alone. I've got this. I can move forward. I can find my feet, and it's all good. Wheel of Fortune. Ace of Cups. I hope you can see what I mean here, where fate is aligning with you. Fate is literally aligning with you. These opportunities are coming your way. See, whereas you had something here, something better is coming. This is like an upgrade. You got a knight instead of a page. And the seven of pentacles here shows a lot of reflection on your side. It's okay to do that because, see, this is showing your personal power. Rather than letting someone else always take control of certain situations, it's now time to take control of your own. Oh my god, you're not going to believe what the last card is. So you've got here, oh no, this is the second to last card. Well, still, it's very impressive. Got here justice again. Well... It is what it is, right? See, the Wheel of Fortune is fate. It's the universe. This is abundance. It's also prosperity. It's bringing you the best. So the best is still yet to come, Gemini. I believe in it. The best is yet to come. That Ace of Cups, okay? Ace of Cups, beautiful energy here of like connecting to your emotions and doing the best for you. So if you are... I, I see a big money... Um, money what do you call it money energy here as well so for those of you worried about your finances right there's something pretty big that can be coming here in terms of like a new job or setting up a new business or, or something like that or just a business in general or something on the side maybe ace of cups really really lovely okay that shows you connecting to your emotions and then you've got the king of cups this here shows you feeling really satisfied and confident within yourself also uh water energy as well is coming through quite strong so that's really interesting with scorpio season i will also say here justice shows things being resolved so whatever it is that is not being resolved or you feel is not resolved currently it will be resolved in time and i just feel with those two nights as well this really strong energy incoming this communication there's you finding your way there is you getting an upgrade so basically gemini the best is still yet to come and that is what we have so that's what november is essentially bringing you it's bringing you so much better and it's bringing you a sense of you aligning to yourself so if you've been stuck in a relationship or you've been stuck in a situation with someone that keeps going round and round and round and round and round and round and round it is time to break free perhaps and you may you'll recognize that in your own timing or if you've been stuck in a situation where i mean this could also be like friendships as well and family um family like bonds you know distancing yourself or career basically so that is your reading i really hope this helped you do take care stay safe and uh, this is your reading bye